Yeah, man. Criminal. You're all criminals. We're all criminals. We all... <clears throat> We all know somebody who knows someone who knows somebody else. We're all well connected. You just have to realize, you have to recognize, you have to associate. You have to know who's in your circle, who's in your network, who you can rely on, who you can count on, who you can go to to get problems solved, to get issues resolved. It's good to have crooked ties. <laughs> it's good to have crooked ties. But be a stand up guy with criminal mind. That's all we are. That's all we are. Stand up guys with criminal minds. That's some corporate cowboy shit. Feels like it was just yesterday I was. That I was uh, connected, that I was plugged into, um, I'm going to say, the illicit side of crime, the illicit side of um, business, shall we say, the criminal side of business, consciously, actively, affirmatively a criminal. Nowadays, not so much. Doesn't mean that. I'm still not an associate. I've got a history. What I've done will forever be me, will follow me. My reputation in some areas is good, in other areas, not so much. But I still have folks. I'm not that far away. Shit's is it's six degrees of separation. Maybe even less. In today's day and age, maybe even less. Having six degrees of separation, that means you're literally six people away from anybody you want to get in touch with. Anyone. How many people do you meet in a day? Huh? At least one. At least one. From there... You play your cards right, logic and tact, finesse, a little bit of um, a little bit of um, mouth, mouth game, a little bit of game, spitting some game, get you connected with anybody you want. You're always one person away. See how I reduce that from six to one? That's hilarious. That's how it works. That's how life works. You just got to think of the next person to come. The next one you want to incorporate. The next one you need. And how you can turn the next one you meet into the one you want to have. See, that's even deeper. That's meeting the person and turning them into an asset. Because again, you're always six degrees away from catching a stray shell. Six degrees away from liability as well. Obviously, we only want positive outcomes, positive results in our lives. <laughs> Nobody has um, an immediate death wish. But I do believe that we are, we are who we associate with. We are who we develop. So you can develop your circle into who you want to be. Surround yourself Become who you want to be. And yeah, that takes a little bit of help. That takes a little bit of gab. A little gift of gab. 
to convince, to persuade, to incorporate, to get others to commit, to develop professionalism in somebody else. See, that that was difficult to do. Before I went legit, that was difficult to do. Try, Try to assert yourself as a leader and you'll get cut off right there. See, I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish myself. Try to assert yourself as a leader, creating other leaders. And that shit is hard. You got to get past the first half quick. Quick. That's that's the first half of self-sabotage. You got to get over it quick. That's that's li- literally literally setting yourself up to be brought down. The first half of self-sabotage. I'll probably do a, an episode on that later. My name is Alex. Forever your intern at Incorporating Associates. That's the namesake. That's what we do on some corporate cowboy shit. You can follow us on Instagram. That's at Incorporating dot associates underscore ia donate to the organization to keep it non-profit until we bankroll something else paypal.me slash corporate cowboys cash app uh, dollar sign corporate cowboys venmo that's alex at coco And you can subscribe to the Patreon. That's active right now. We have a couple of tiers. Any premium tier members look forward to a a gift in the future. (laughs) Having crooked ties is nothing bad, man. It's nothing bad. It is who you are. It's your past. You can't run from it. A person with no past is scary. It's uh, not trustworthy, a person with no past, because you don't know where they come from, what they've done. You don't know if they have a portfolio. And still, all of that can be mitigated with the proper words. With the proper exchange of words, a little logic, a little tact. You got a skeleton key that fits just right. You can write off your whole past. (laughs) And I mean write off. I don't mean lie. I don't mean lie. You get caught in a lie, you get clipped immediately. Immediately. I don't give a fuck who you are and what you do. Give two fucks. You get buried right off of the bat. You lie, you die. (laughs) That's That's the game. You lie, you fucking die. Why? Because this is business. Folks say, oh, this is business. It's nothing personal. Nah, this is business. And business is always personal. I don't care how crooked you think it is and what the rules are when when you're, when you're running illicit shit, what you think lying goes. No, lying will get you mopped the fuck up. It'll get you molly whopped. Even in a criminal organization, in a criminal enterprise. Why? Because there's still a hierarchy. There's still a rigid set of rules in order to advance, in order to expand, in order to be a better organization, even if it is being better at crime. Yeah, I understand. That sounds a little subversive. How can you be better at something that's bad? Well, try to rationalize it. In a way, um, try to rationalize it in a way that what is deemed illegal might not always be wrong. It's just deemed illegal because some motherfucker somewhere wants to regulate, wants to control, wants to tax, wants to overreach, wants to put their hand down your pants and jack you off. Without your consent, right? 
there's a time and a place, but without consent, that's fucked up. <laughs> Crooked ties, though. Nothing wrong with that. I walk into a place with a crooked tie on. As long as they know who I am, as long as they know what, what it is I'm doing, as long as they can sense it, right? Because even if they don't know who I am, the way you carry yourself when you enter a room, you ain't afraid to shake hands with with the headmaster. You're not afraid to shake hands with the uh, with the server. The way you carry yourself. Obviously, you can't look like a like a dirty fucking slouch. You can, you know, you can look crooked. You can look crooked. But your piece has got to be clean. Shit's got to be oiled down. It's got to be loaded to capacity. And one in the chamber. Like, you have, you have to know what the fuck you're doing. Even if nobody else knows what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Even if nobody else thinks you know what the fuck you're doing. You must know. What it is you are operating. What you're undertaking in this life is. Because you're a corporate cowboy. You're the tip of the spear. You're getting, you're, you're necessarily meddling in with, you're meddling with other folks' plans. Everybody's got a plan until they come across a corporate cowboy. Everybody's got, Mike Tyson said it best, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face, right? Well, everybody who's not in a fucking boxing ring has a plan until they meet somebody else with a plan. And then what do you do? One of two options. Either you incorporate associates or you employ some corporate cowboy shit. That's it. This one might be a short one. But damn, these are cathartic. It's been a couple of days. It feels good to talk to y'all, to be able to record this. A little proof of life, if you will. Just gonna wish y'all a great weekend. Stay frosty.